Hello, my name is Bill Schrader, sales agronomist with Osmus Farm Supply. In this week's agronomy update, I'd like to discuss soil health. As an agronomist or as a farmer, some of the first things we notice is what we see above ground. Foliage, leaves, stems, pests, diseases, weeds are all things that we take note of. But this is only part of the story. A lot of the biological activity that's going on out there, in fact, most of the biological activity is occurring below the ground surface. Some people feel that soil is an inanimate object, just a medium for growing plants with water and nutrients. But the truth is quite contrary to that. I once read someone describe the soil as the stomach of the plants. Did you know that in one tablespoon of healthy soil, there's more microbes than there are people on the face of the planet. Soil is more than just nutrients and water. It has organic matter, fungi, bacteria, enzymes, worms, organic glues, and a wide array of microbes and insects. The soil is a complex ecosystem. The health of that ecosystem often affects how it performs. Worms, insects, and decaying roots create channels in the soil. They allow for better water infiltration. Those same channels allow roots to more easily intercept water and nutrients. Ideally, soils have an equal balance of water and pore space with a reasonable bulk density. They have beneficial fungi like arbuscular mycorrhizae, which form a symbiotic relationship with plant roots. They aid in the uptake of water and nutrients like phosphorus. Other fungi and bacteria help break down plant debris and organic matter. Still others can combat pests and diseases that can affect our crops. Worms are looked on by some as disgusting creatures, only good for fish bait, but they have a vital role in soils. They help aerate the soil, alleviate compaction. They recycle nutrients. Their castings are rich in fertility. A strong worm population is indicative of good soil health. All of these organisms over thousands of years have formed the optimum soil ecosystem. Their health is paramount in achieving maximum production and sustainability from our land. Certain practices can help build the soil and let the natural ecosystem flourish. Three basic principles to keep in mind in your farming operation are try not to compact the soil, avoid any unnecessary tillage, and use a diverse crop rotation with cover crops. Try to avoid compaction. Compaction is one of the most lethal components to destroying soil health. What you do when you compact the soil is you eliminate pore space and take oxygen out of the soil, leaving it filled with mostly uh, water or limiting it altogether. Good things to do in avoiding compaction is um, try to use controlled traffic in tram lines. Uh, try not to overfill or overload your equipment. Um, use lighter implements if at all possible. Avoid unnecessary tillage. Tillage is the enemy of good soil health. Tillage can destroy soil structure and it interrupts many of the natural biological features that we are trying to promote with good soil health. Implement a diverse cropping rotation and cover crops. These things help encourage natural diversity in the soil, which encourages a healthy soil ecosystem and better uh, soil biology. So the next time you walk through your field, consider what's going on below your feet. Take the time to dig some roots and examine your soil. You may be surprised with what you find. The productivity of your land may be tied closer than you think to what's going on below the soil surface. For more information on cover crops, fertility, and soil health, please contact your local AFS sales agronomist. And thank you for watching this week's Ag Update.